Hi, it's B with this week's Wednesday Literate School. Nothing too much interesting has happened this past week. I made a birthday present for a friend of mine, which I would show you, except I don't want to show the internet before I actually give the gift. <laughs> My boss has been having some health troubles, so I had to do a lot of covering for various jobs around the hotel t since she wasn't able to be there, which was actually kind of fun, and... oh. I pre-ordered the first issue of the Boondock Saints comic book. I'm really, really hoping that I got my order in soon enough to get an autographed copy. And I read, well, listened to the audiobook of The Mists of Avalon by Marion Zimmer Bradley. Well, the first one, The Mistress of Magic. It was narrated by a woman named Davina Porter. I really didn't like it the woman narrating. She sounds like an old woman with a croaking voice, especially when she's doing voices for male characters. She makes them sound deformed and misshapen and really ugly and potentially evil, which I don't usually go for in all my characters. And I just did not feel that she was a very good voice actress. I do not feel that her voice was quite soothing enough to spin a legend. Because while, yes, it's Marion Zimmer Bradley's take on an old legend, it's still King Arthur and Merlin and Morgan Le Fay. Everyone who writes of King Arthur plays with the mythos. They play with the legend and adapt it to what works for the story they're trying to tell and all that kind of stuff because it's not pure fact. We don't really know what is and isn't fact at this point, but we do know that legends are written by what people need to hear, what people need to be told. And that changes over time, and that changes with the storyteller, and that changes with the audience. So I think it's good that it isn't all obvious stuff. I do feel that some of the changes that Bradley made were completely self-gratifying and did not actually have a true purpose. Making Galahad Lancelot, for example. didn't think that she really needed to do that. I felt like she did that just so she could work in another character from the legend without having to actually write in a whole other character. And that's stupid. Especially because, you know what, Lancelot's not actually that old in the lore. Like, compared to some characters, I mean, he was written in by the French. And I love the French. I do. But it's kind of obvious, a name like Lancelot du Lac, written in by the French, and the French can be rather French about things. And also, the other characters rolled with that a little too easily. I mean, if it was my cousin, who I'd known my whole life pretty much, and called Galahad my whole life, if he says, no, don't call me that anymore, I'm like 17 years older, now I wish to be known as Lancelot, because that's what some other people call me. I wouldn't start calling him that right away. There would be some hesitance, because it's difficult to change the name that you think of someone as. I'm just speaking from experience here. It was also a bit of a difficult read for me because there's a lot of really blatant incest. I mean, a lot. Pretty much from, if not the first paragraph, certainly the first page, there's talk of incest. The Mistress of Magic. It's Morgane, Morgan Le Fay. It's her story, in some ways. It's the story of her mother raising her, and then the story of her aunt taking over her upbringing when she moved to Avalon to be trained to be a priestess to the goddess, 
And then it's her own story of her training and the choices that she had to make because of it and the choices that were taken from her because of it. Really, I think that the point of view was poorly executed in some ways. There were a lot of I statements in the section that was telling Igraine, Morgane's mother's story, and not a lot in Morgane's actual section. But the whole thing's supposed to be narrated by Morgane, so she wouldn't be able to know all these I statements about her mother nearly so well as she would know the I statements about herself. I'm also a bit more invested in the story of the males, so while it's nice to get the female side of things, I wish there was more Arthur in this. I wish there was a lot more Arthur in it. And I dislike the stupid choices that characters are making because they're not listening to what the other characters are saying. And they're not thinking. And I'm going, well, okay, I know enough of the legend to know why you're doing it this way, but they're being stupid by not listening to other people, which bothers me. <laughs> Characters turning exceedingly Christian when there's no explanation in the story for why they would do that, and there's no evidence that it's likely they would. So the characters are becoming out of character even within the book itself. I also disliked that she turned Merlin into the Merlin. She made it a title as opposed to a name. Anyway, despite my misgivings and despite not liking all of the choices that the authors made, I do believe I'm going to continue with the series and see what happens. I get the feeling that I'm about to get really frustrated. I've just started book two. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's a pleasant journey.